Radhe Radhe everyone. Radhe Radhe. So today our Suniti Ji is a little bit weak. So we will read with everyone likes to add something or inspired feel something please share. We are reading from Sri Sri Betrava Chandrika verse 74. It's a book with commentaries of Vishwanath Chakravarti and Ananta Das Babaji. Karmi Dhyani Micha Bhakta Nahogta Te Anuratta Vishuddha Bhajana Koro Mana Vraja Janer Eirita Tahate Duba Ochita Ei se paramatatva bhāna. O mind, do not become attached to false devotees who mix their sadhana with fruitive activities or non-dualistic knowledge. Just engage in pure bhajan. O mind, absorb your heart in the activities and customs of the people of Raj. This is the treasure of the Supreme Truth. Hmm. Once again, O oh mind, do not become attached to false devotees who mix their sadhana with fruitive activities or non-dualistic knowledge. Just engage in pure bhajan. Absorb your heart in the activities and customs of the people of Raj. This is the treasure of the Supreme Truth. The title of commentary, The Treasure of the Supreme Truth. Is the sound okay? You can hear fine? Okay. Okay. Thanks. <coughs> Rade, arigato. <laughs> so, if possible, could you close more mic, then more clear, if possible? Uh, uh, mic more clear. Mic more clear. Mic, 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 mic. Do we, do we have one uh, mic? Uh, so, just a moment. No, oh, not the same This bus is really <laughs> uh, deep, very deep. Okay, so we find this order. Let's try the order. Ah, it's on. Speaker? Yeah, very good. Okay. Is it okay now? Okay, rather, rather. Better? Thank you. Rade. Shirade. Okay, then, then this mic will circulate. <clears throat> the title of Ah, would you like to share some? Hmm? Would you like to share some? Uh you can 
you can read it. Ah, read it. And then I. Ah, okay. The title of uh, commentary: "The Treasure of the Supreme Truth." Sudha Kanika Vyakya. In this Tripadi, Srila Tahur Mahashaya again teaches the aspirants expertise in the worship of Vraj by instructing his own mind with rules and prohibitions. First, he gives the prohibition by saying, Karmi, Gyani, Micha Bhakti, Nahobe, Tate, Anurakta. In the previous verse, the blessed author has forbidden contact with Karmis and Gyanis even in the times of danger. <laughs> and now again, in this verse, he gives the advice to give up attachment to Gyanis and Karmis. From this, it seems that the Karmis and Gyanis mentioned in the previous verse are unadulterated karmis and gyanis. In other words, those who think that the goals of karma and jnana, heaven and liberation, can be attained independently without the help of bhakti. Okay, this is mm. it. Would you like to share something? You understand? What? You first? Okay, then I can first. I, I feel this bus is uh, uh, two, two division. And uh, I was thinking before, Karmi is goal for heavenly planet. And Karmi means desire material uh, karma or karma. Material happiness. And Gyani is say <coughs> like a goal is liberation. Or sometimes impersonal list. They desire merge into the Brahman. But also for us, there is another subtle meaning, I feel. We are doing, we are, we are claiming we are doing bhakti. We are doing sadhana bhakti. Or we may say, oh, I'm doing bhakti bhakti or raganuga bhakti. But the uh, problem is in our heart, We may have tinge of some desire, material desire. Oh, I want to have money. I want to have job. Or oh, I want to have a wife, husband, or a nice position, nice house. <coughs> All these things. We have desire something material or well, in other words we are unknowingly knowingly uh, uh, 24 hours we are thinking something material and sometimes we desire something material that's also subtle way is observing our heart in material activity. 
Or sometimes also we may desire not, not liberation, but we may think, oh, I may want to release. I want to get out of this terrible situation. Or sometimes we, we have a tendency, especially I have tendency to be impersonal way of life. Okay, I can, I can live in, in sacred place. Or I don't care another person suffering, what another person doing. This kind of tendency, even we are doing bhakti, many subtle way is attacking always. Maya is attacking us. So therefore, in this verse, especially Gurudev's teaching is very uh, much relating. What is Gurudev's teaching? Fix our mind, our swarupa. A fix mind and fi fix our stai baba, which is most of devoted desire, babo urasarati. We would like to become maid servant of Shurimati Radhika. But uh, how much time we are concentrating this radicals, maid servant thoughts, or how much a day we are thinking, then, you know, so we have to check it out, our heart. This Guru Dev is saying 24 7. This is very much relating this verse. We are thinking, oh, we are not Karumi. We are not Gyami. But we may have slight or subtle or gross tendency of these things. That is uh, Narotamadas also saying, try to observe the uh, just engage in pure bhajan. Observe your heart in activity and custom people, brother. Especially, we have to observe in Lada's service, especially like a Bilapak Manjari. So this is very much relating our daily bhakti. That's I feel it. Very nice, Jananda Maharaj. Yes, this is actually a prayer to the mind, to give the mind an advice not to have association with worldly people. That means we cannot avoid the contact with worldly people, especially if we are living in the West. We have to have contact with these gyanis, karmis, yogis, all different minded people. But I think the important thing is that we don't take association from them. So we try to give them association from us. That means that we are caring for everyone and we don't distinguish if this is a devotee or a non devotee or a karmi, or a gyani. After all, we are all eternal spiritual souls. And all the souls who have taken birth in this particular Kali Yuga, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared to give us this gem of Raganuga Bhakti, this is the perfect arrangement of our Radha Mohan for all the souls. So some are taking advantage of it and some are not. But devotee means caring for others. So we always try to care. So the best thing is that we give them good association and be kind so that we, they will appreciate this kindness of the heart that we want to have within our heart and why we are why the possibility is there to be contaminated by the association because our heart is still contaminated with so many 
unwanted things. So if we come in contact with all these people and we take the association from them, it is the uh, possibility there that we are, that these desires are coming up within us for sense gratification, positions, a lot of money and all these things, because these are not so easy things to give up. We can give these things only up if we take shelter at the lotus feet of our Gurudev at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani and if we take shelter in this Vrindavan Dham. Therefore, it is also mentioned that we should keep the Dham within us. So if once we get fixed in our bhajan, we have the Dham is within us, within the heart, and wherever we go, we take the Dham with us. And so we can influence other people in a very good way. As Gurudev always say, never go into fighting. Also, if someone is angry with us or is not kind with us, so we don't go into the same level and fight with them. We try to stay humble and give some feelings. And also, if at the moment they cannot recognize, but it will work in them as it is working also in us. So this is my humble understanding of this. Radhe Radhe. Chaitanya Ji, oh, you want to share? Charanji? We continue reading. Actually, it is said in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Bhakti Vina Kon Sadhana Dite Nare Fal Sab Fal Deya Bhakti Svatantra Prabal Aja Gal Stana Nyaya Anya Sadhana Ataeva Hari Bhaje Budhiman John. Without the help, without the aid of devotion, no practice can yield fruit. Without the aid of devotion, no practice can yield fruit. But devotion grants all fruits <clears throat> on its independent strength. All other practices are like a nipples of a goat. Here, under here, here are the nipples of goat. It's empty, no milk here. <laughs> We know. Therefore, an intelligent person's person worships Hari. The practices of karma, jnana, and yoga are called sadhana because of their similarity to sadhana but actually they do not enjoy the status of sadhana since that which culminates in sadhya or perfection is worthy of being called sadhana But without the aid of devotion, karma, jnana, and others cannot yield fruits independently. This is 
Why? All practices that go without devotion are called like a nipples of a goat. The mammary glands on the neck of goats are called the breasts of a goat. But actually, never give milk. Similarly, mere karma and jnana without the aid of devotion can never yield the results. Because externally, their practices resemble sadhana. They are called sadhana. Actually, bhakti mukha nirik nirikshaka nirikshaka karma yoga jnana. Again, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Karma, yoga, and jnana all look at the face bhakti, dependent on the bhakti. They are dependent. Look at the face, meaning they are dependent on the bhakti. <laughs> So this is uh, Anandas Baj Maharaj <laughs> is saying, according to Shastra, karma, yoga, jnana, they are completely depend on bhakti to try to get some result. That is very interesting thing. Then also, we wish to know <coughs> what is Sadhya, what is the goal of our life? What is the, uh, the way? What is the, how to get result? And to get result, what kind of relationship we should have it? <coughs> and Rupa Goswami, a Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu say, we are doing sadhana bhakti. And then sadhana bhakti's goal is to attain baba bhakti. Baba bhakti means to attain lati, kind of love of Godhead. <coughs> then what is the mean of love of Godhead is, is bhakti. Is mean to attain bhakti. I mean to attain a lati or a prema. And uh, there is many kind of prema. <coughs> Sneha, man, pranaya, laga, anuraga, baba, mahababa. And but uh, Especially Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, teachers, highest goal is Babo Urasarati. Actually, Rupa Goswami's teaching is like this. Mahaprabhu, real essence of teaching is to attain Babo Urasarati. What is Babo Urasarati? Is, in short, to attain maid servant of Radhika. Why maid servant of Radhika? Because Radhika has highest love. And how to feel Radhika's highest love? Then we, we have to same feeling with Radhika. And to become same feeling, we need to go very close with Radhika. And if we go very close, who can go close with Radhika? That is only lady. 
especially maid servant of Radhika, who is, it is called Manjari in Kinkari, they could go near with Radhika. And they could serve one pointedly without no selfish desire. So that is Mahaprabhu's real teaching. This is Gaudiya Vaishnava's real essence. That's Gurudev's showing us, teaching us. Also Anantadas Bhaji Maharaj teaching us. So this, uh, everything dep depend on bhakti. And uh, love is a way, love is a goal. What is goal of love is, according to Rupa Goswami, Babo Urasa Rati. A special kind of Rati who could understand or taste who, uh, who could serve our Swamini very closely as maid servant, as Manjari and Kinkari. Thank you, Jainanda Maharaj. Very nice yes. explanation. So, For us, especially when we are in the Madhurya Ras, Madhurya means in a conjugal, loving relationship. And if we once are in the loving, that means that we don't care if someone is coming, if something is coming back to us or not. Because real love is unconditional love. We are only giving love without expecting anything back for ourselves. And all this uh, jnana, karma, and all these things, this is all the side effects of bhakti. They automatically will come. We don't have to care for them. Because bhakti means loving service. And not only with our present sadak deha, also in a more higher stage, if we can realize our eternal spiritual body, as Maharaj said, only as a female we can enter into the kunja and being a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. So these qualities we have to develop here by performing our sadhana within this sadak deha. But actually, spiritual life is always happening on the inside because the visions, they are coming in the inside. So the process of bhajan is hearing and chanting and lila smaranam. We can not do one without the other. So it means we cannot do only hearing and chanting without Lila Smaranam or only Lila Smaranam without hearing and chanting. Only if we do both, we can keep our mind steady. Otherwise, the mind will wander here and there, back and forth, up and down. And then if we don't keep the mind steady and engage the mind in devotional service, we have to pray for that to the mind because the mind is something very powerful. Then he will engage us in his service. That means in sense gratification. So this is the first thing to understand that we are not this material body. We are an eternal spiritual soul and not only a soul. This soul has also an eternal form. This is Svarup and Svarup Siddhi. And this means that is our constitutional position. This is the reality we want to live in, in the eternal reality. Now we are in a temporary reality and we think that this will go on forever and everything will stay as it is now. This is called illusion that we are identifying with the material body and all Things who are related to the body, like country, car, house, wife, family, relatives, 
But in our previous life, we had also all these things, but we cannot remember because that story now is finished. And for millions and birds, we start a new story according to our desires. So it is very essential. As Maharaj said, what is our heartfelt desire? It is all depending on our desire, where we want to go, what we want to do, and what we want to reach. So it is very important that our goals in life are clear and fixed only with with this we can come out of this cycle of repeated births and death that we are in since time immemorial in this material universes and now i can feel now is really the golden opportunity that we should take advantage of it we got so this very deep association of our beloved gurudev who is giving us access to this Gaudiya Vaishnava culture, to this very intimate thing, this very intimate service, direct service to Srimati Radhika. Because we don't know when this opportunity will come again. So I recommend to all of you to take advantage of it now. Radhe Radhe. For this reason, those karmis and jnanis who are relatively intelligent look at the scriptures and does practice karma or jnana mixed with bhakti in order to attain their desired results. Seeing the worship of all these mixed devotees, Srila Thakur Mahashaya tells the aspirant devotees to stay clear from them. Stay? Clear from them. Away. Clear. Yeah. So that the pure devotees do not become attached or attracted to them, thinking them to be pure devotees. For their association harms the development of pure devotion. So here once again is very clearly mentioned how influential association is that we have also to observe who is who and what is what we have to distinguish and that we take only association with uh, those who are in the same or a similar mood that will help us grow in our own spiritual life and if we take association with those who have mixed bhakti with jnana and karma, then some contamination can come also up to us. So, as Sripad here says very clearly, we should keep distance from that because we are not so much advanced that we can keep this influence away from us. So, we have to be very careful with whom we are associating with. Therefore, Srila Gurudev inaugurated all these uh, sharings, all these sanghas all over the world that we are regularly meeting together, share on the sanghas. This will be very helpful. Otherwise, influence is very heavy in this Kali Yuga, especially if we are living in the West, because we are in the Vaikuntha expansion. All what is outside of Vrindavan is the Vaikuntha expansion. So it's not so easy for us to keep our bhajan going. 
But if we have regular association with devotees, this will be very helpful. And coming also to Vrindavan on a regular basis, as often as we can, to have direct association with Gurudev, association with the Dham, and taking shelter to the Dham, then Radharani will be very merciful on us and taking away slowly, slowly all the unwanted things, things that are keeping us away from our true self. And I want to say a little bit, uh, conversation of Ramandaya and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, Mahaprabhu is asking Raya Ramanandaya, what is the goal of life? Could you explain it? Then Mahaprabhu from first, uh, no, uh, Ramanandaya say, first is following Varuna Ashram Dharma. Then Mahaprabhu say, oh, this is, <laughs> This is good, but uh, you can, this is material. You can say a little more. Mm -hmm. And then Mahaprabhu say, I think he's say, mixing devotional service, Gyana Mishra Bhakti. Mahaprabhu, you know, and then Mahaprabhu say, yeah, this is okay, but uh, you can go more ahead. And then, uh, Rai Ramananda say, a pure devotional, devotional service, no tinge of karma and jnana. And then he explained different kind of rasa, shanta rasa, dasha rasa, and sakya rasa, and basare rasa, and madura rasa. Then finally attain, uh, explained, ladas, like Brajas, Radha's, Krishna's uh, intimate pastime. And then Mahaprabhu said, yeah, that's I want to hear. I would like to hear these things. But if you could say more, please go more deeply. And then Raman Daya say, no, Mahaprabhu, this is beyond my, my intelligence. Nobody asked this matter so far. In, in my intelligence, I cannot grasp, but by your inspiration, I want to say something about something. It's called the uh, prema Birasa Bivarta. But, uh, this you may not please with me, or you may please with me. This I don't know. Then, then, uh, Raman Daya start talking about Prema Birasa Bivarta. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. And then, this Prema Birasa Bibarta is, is very intimate pastime in Nikunja. And this Prema Birasa means Prema is Prema. Birasa is like a pastime, Dira. But the Bibarta is like a, like a little illusion, little crazy. And, very ripen. And sometimes, sometimes they think, uh, how to say, opposite way. Means Radha become Krishna, Krishna become Radha. They lost consciousness. They don't know who am I. They don't know Radha is touching my, my, my myself or I'm touching myself. And finally, they changed the position. And he was explaining this Prema Birasa Bibarta. So this is a very interesting pastime. And uh, this is actually, my feeling is Manjari's vision. So Manjari is, could see very intimate pastime of Radha and Mohan. This, this pastime, 
this pastime show us. They did not say, but this pastime represent what manjari is position is. Who can see in this Prema Virasa Vibharata? This only manjari could see and manjari feel it. So this is very interesting, you know, so this is Mahaprabhu teaching, uh, final teaching is this kind of, you know, Radha Baba, Gopi Baba, Radha Baba, and then Manjari Baba. That is, so this is maybe not relation with this bus, but, uh, So this, this, anyway, you know, to attain this highest stage of devotional service, we need association, someone who attain highest goal of life or highest consciousness. So our, our, our Chaitanya share. Yeah. Radhe Chaitanya Prem here. I just wish to share how I see this verse Naratan Takus mentioned. And I see like two, two kinds of devotees, let's say. One group is like you around me who has fixed their spiritual goal very clearly and go in this path. And one group is like me, myself, who has not done this yet. And Narutam Das Thakur very clearly says you should be like aware when you are going this path, because also devotees who did not fix yet, they are doing some sudden, but this sudden goes maybe in wrong direction. And like myself, sometimes when I'm in so good company, I'm carried away and start speaking even not with my goal fixed. So please excuse me for doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> so believe it or not now is oh no thank five twenty seven so we have to stop where yeah? five something yeah i don't see uh who who so, will shridhar will shridhar do uh bhajans today or yes Shridhar. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And ah, okay, okay. So, then we will wait for Shridhar to yeah, come. And also, I want to hear from our Gorabani if he could share. Sorry, I could not see properly. My eyes not. Is Gorabani there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gorabani. Our Gorabani. I want to hear from you. Radha, Radha, my dears, my loving hugs and my obeisances to all of you. Ah, where is it? Okay. I think everything starts with some bandha. Usually we talk about knowledge, wisdom of spiritual life, but this has nothing to do yet on that point with some bandha. So every everything starts with some bandha we hear because the wise of Namesharanya, when they were gathering together, you know, Bhagavatam, Vimad Bhagavatam. So the first thing they said is Dharma, Arta, Kama, Moksha are out. Out. Everything which is discussed in Bhagavatam has nothing to do with these four points. Nothing. So it's very clear that mixed bhakti 
has nothing to do with that. First point. You were talking very nicely about this and explaining everything, so I don't need to go in that more. So it's about the fifth goal, like Gurudev always say, it's the Brema. The fifth goal of human beings is Brema. And everything starts up with Sambandha. If I don't have any relationship to a person, how I can exchange love? What to speak of Brema? Spiritual love. So I need some bandha. This is the first step. And I always remember that because I feel I'm completely useless in some bandha. I cannot practice even material relationships because I'm not a sociological healthy person. I feel like that. Because if I would be, I could exchange love with everyone. And not fight and not discuss so first thing we need to have experience in love and this is true sambandha so we need to have sambandha with a person who is in this prema first step then we learn then we go on the path of abhideya what doesn't mean that we get rid of anything this is not the goal this is a side effect. The goal is to go more deep in Sambandha and to exchange more prema, more oh. deep, oh. to come up to Mahabhav. If we come up to Mahabhav, then we are in the position that we can actually be in our spiritual body, go inside and surf. So everything starts up with Sambandha. And then it leads to the goal. And then we can actually get not, not, it's, it's not the mind who is fixed. This is the beginning. The heart gets fixed through Sambandha. Love is developing and my heart is fixed. This is Rati. Rati means because of my love. Sambandha means bound by love. Bound by love. And this means I cannot do anything else than to serve out of love. There's no other way. And in this way, we come into real bhakti, raga bhakti, then to prema bhakti. And then we can go up on the laser pointer to Radharani's mercy, not to our qualifications. Our qualification is the mercy of Radharani. And here in this world, specifically the mercy of Nitai, which includes the mercy of Gurudev. So, and on this laser pointer, we will find the goal. And then we can come up, come, come up to Prema Vaichitya, which you also mentioned. Because this is the highest state we can be with. We will not have it. Radharani and Krishna, they have it, but we will be there and we will feel it on both sides. And this is the highest goal we can reach. So you all explained so very nice. I just wanted to put it again together in one sentence. I hope this helps in some way, and please forgive me if I make any mistakes. Jai Shri Rade. Very beautiful, beautifully explained, which we could not explain. Thank you very much. Shri Darji, I'm here. Uh, very good. Ready? Ready. Flying. Very good. Okay. So excuse us, our. Oh, no, no, no end, no end, no, no end. end. No end. Oh, uh, Shridhar, will you start uh, as a host or you will use this? Uh, you will your... we have to change, which the link is different, I think. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Radha.